All right. This is mostly algebra. We're going to talk about the word substitution as well because some people get confused. Um, equations and expressions, mostly equations. You might get some expressions. Write your name. Um, so an expression is when we don't know the answer. We can't get the answer until they tell us what the variable or uh, letter is. Okay, and then later they'll tell you what the letter is. That's called substitution, and you plug in that number for the letter and then do the math to get an answer, okay? Um, then there's also equations where they give you the letter and a bunch of numbers and situations, but then there's an equal sign, equation. So that starts with equa, which sounds like equal, okay? So let's do one where... Um, I don't know how many cats we had to start, okay? But two of the cats had litters, total of 10 baby kittens, okay? Um, that's how we would represent that. We had C for however many cats. I don't know how many cats we had. We probably had at least three because there's a, a, a two moms that had litters of five each. And so there probably needed to be a male, but then again, if you let those females go outside, they could have made some friends, right, outdoors that weren't our cats. So, so let's say at least two. There's at least two, um, uh, but we don't know. They're not telling us. And they said write an ex expression to represent the situation. Well, we got C for cats plus 10 babies, okay, a litter of 10. Um, Dad gave us some money. I'll put M for money, and we had to split it equally, my two sisters and I. Oh, okay, that's going to be divided by three, me and my two sisters. You can also write that as M over three. Okay, so that's taking words and putting it as an expression. An equation would be if they gave you this C plus 10 equals 13, okay? That's an equation. I can actually solve that, okay? Um, I could say, well, um, algebra means we're going to do, we want to get the letter by itself. What does C equal? So to do that, we have to get rid of the numbers near the letter. How do you get rid of numbers? You do the opposite, inverse operation. So we joke and call algebra opposite day, right? So you would do minus 10. Whatever you do to one side, you got to do the other side, okay? So this disappears, and we got C by itself. 13 minus 10. Oh, yeah, Mr. Douglas was right. There's three cats, okay? But they could also do this. They could say um, C plus 10. What is the answer if C equals 28, okay? And people are like, what do I, I've, I get it every year. A number of kids, like three to five kids every time will be like, what do I do? Well, how, how do they what am I supposed to do? They're telling you what C equals. So you're going to replace the C with 28 and have 28 plus 10. That's called substitution. Okay, so you're going to have 38. All right. All right, so let's look at some algebra. We're going to do two parts of algebra, okay? So I just did a plus one, okay? So here's X plus 10 equals 100, okay? And then we're going to do x minus 10 equals 100. And then I'm going to do 10x equals 100. And then I'm going to do x divided by 10 equals 100. So we're going to get a different answer every time, even though it all looks the same, right? So my goal again is to get x by itself. So I have to get rid of that 10. How do I get rid of positive 10? I subtract 10. I do the opposite, inverse operation. Whatever you do to one side, though, you have to do the other because it's equal. We're trying to keep the balance. So whatever you do to one side of the teeter-totter, it's going to tip. If I subtract 10 from here to keep it balanced, i got to subtract 10 here. So this disappears, and I'm left with only x over here, and 100 minus 10 is 90. So x equals 90. And if you think it sounds weird and you're not sure, what happened to my blue pen? Oh. Yeah, set it down on the desk over there. Okay, um, you could substitute this 90 back in for x over here. Does 90 plus 10 equal 100? Yes. Okay, you don't need to grade my teacher. I got it. Okay, 
Let's do the next one. What's the opposite of minus 10? I'm going to plus 10, okay? If I do one side, you're going to do the other. Therefore, x has to equal 110, okay? Don't look at it and say, oh, it's times 10, so I'm going to divide times 10. I get to where people don't write these baby steps. Here's where everybody messes up, okay? They're like, oh, it's divided by 10. 100 divided by 10 is 10. No, you don't do the same thing to both sides. you got to do the opposite. Oh, you're times in 10. 100 times 10 is 1,000. No, you got to do the opposite. This is times 10, so I'm going to divide by 10. Whatever you do to one side, you got to do to both, okay? So 10 divided by 10 disappears, and I'm left with x. 100 divided by 10 is 10, okay? Then you can go substitute it back in. Does 10 times 10 equal 100? Yep, okay. This is x divided by 10. Everybody gets confused when it's a fraction. And remember, fractions are division. So the opposite of divide is times. I'm going to times 10. And a whole number 10 can be a fraction by putting a 1 under it. And now you can see it's basically saying x times 10 divided by 10. They cancel each other out. Or if you change it to a fraction, you can see you got a 10 on top and 10 on the bottom. You can simplify. Okay, but whatever you do to one side, don't forget to do to the other. So that cancels out, and you're going to have x equals that 100 times 10 is 1,000. Okay, that's algebra. Um, we are going to quickly look at angles. Okay. We need to know these facts. A straight line is 180 degrees if you measure from here all the way around. How can I know that? Well, you can prove it because you know if you make a straight line going up and down, it's a right angle on both sides. That's 90 degrees, and this is 90 degrees, right? So you know a straight line is 100 degrees, 180. So if I told you um, here's a straight line, and this is 35 degrees, Oops, I don't know why I put two. What's x? Well, I know if I add them together, it's got to equal 180 because it's a straight line. So then I'm going to subtract 35. And a lot of times I'll just write it right over the picture. Okay, you guys can't do that on the computer screen. but um, So then I subtract. you got to show your work too, right? Um, I'm going to subtract 35 from both sides. So it's gone. I'm going to be left with x has to equal, borrow, 5 4 has to equal 145 degrees, okay? Now, it works the same way if I have, if you have that 90 degree angle, but then I also do this, and I say this is 28 degrees, okay? Well, you know this um, x over here, whatever it is, plus that to equal 90. So x plus 28 equals 90. I just do that. Okay, I need to subtract 28 from both sides. I have to borrow from the 9. Okay, this crosses out. I'm going to have x equals 90 minus 28. So 2 and 6, 62 degrees. Okay, now they do it with shapes as well. Let's flip it over. If I have a square... Um, you know those are all 90 degrees, okay? Um, what was I going to do? Okay, let's do a triangle. Triangle, a, a square or a rectangle is 360 degrees. All triangles equal 180 degrees because they are half of a square or rectangle, which has 360, okay? 4 times 90 because they have four 90-degree angles, right? That's 360. So with a triangle, if they give you two sides, 33, I'm making these up. I don't know how it's going to come out, okay? And I don't know what x is. Well, I know that if I add them together, x plus 57 plus 33, they have to equal 180, right? So I'm going to combine these. 3 plus 3 is 10, 5 plus 3. 8, 9. So x plus 90 equals 1. Oh, wow. That came out perfect. I didn't mean for that to happen. So to get x, you have to subtract 90 from both sides to get rid of that 90. So x is going to equal 90. So really, my triangle should have had a... x would have been a that. OK, 
Okay, don't, remember what I said. Don't ever say, well, that can't be right then. I did something wrong because that's not a right angle. Remember, teachers copy and paste pictures and throw numbers on. Just do the math. That gives you the answer. Don't worry if the picture doesn't match. Okay, well, hey, he made this angle bigger than this angle, which I didn't really, but 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 he's got this one with a bigger number than that number. That can't be right. Don't worry about that, okay? All right, so here's the next one. If they give you a right angle, and let's say 21 and X, okay? You're like, oh, they only gave me one number. What am I supposed to do? No, there's two numbers because right angles equal 90, right? Am I running out of ink? Um, so that means X plus, yep. Hold on, I guess. You know what I like to do? I got to take put the ink, put the ink back in so it doesn't write on the wall. Oh, it hit the top of the rim and bounced out. This school has been the one I've been the worst at, but it's probably because I'm not coaching. There's nothing to coach yet. All right. X plus 21 plus the 90 has to equal 180. Okay. So then I'm going to add these two together. And I got X uh, plus, whoa, didn't mean to do that, equals 180. Okay. Oops, I got to have that plus in there. So I want to get rid of that. I want X to be by itself. Okay. So I have to subtract 111. Whatever you do to one side, you do to both sides. And we're going to borrow 10 minus 1 is 9, 7 minus 1 is 6, 1 minus 1 is 0. X equals 69. Okay. All right. Now, there is a way to do algebra with crazy shapes, which we'll do that later because we're going to do area of shapes first and angles and then also inequalities. So that'll be the next, the 10th video, all right, because this one's already went kind of long.